was catching River Jake just hooked into a small way on his five weight on the fly. He just came out of nowhere? He was uh, not in any of the boulders, I think. I was kind of putting it away and not really paying attention to an accidental fish. As soon as I look down to pay attention again and get everything put away, if I just let him go, he could do this. I know. Big enough. with the fly rod pressure because I'm pretty new, so. You got drag on there? Or is it just hand? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to lose my probably personal best to the channel. Let's see it hanging on yeah. lips. Yeah, a nice fish. You're lucky he hasn't jumped yet. I'm keeping the tip down to avoid that. People go with an eight weight. <laughs> yep. There's just not enough ass in the five though. If you hit the golden shower, they're definitely gonna be hitting jerk baits today. That's a nice fish. <laughs> oh man. I'm kinda worried about him getting hit by a muskie before I get him in at this pace. semi-decent. We did some sight fishing, found it right, cruising right around a cluster of boulders here. And before this one I had two heartbreaking losses. Sure brought the grable. But I lost two before this one that were probably the same size. So looking good here. 17. So, a photo. Scattered rocks back there. That's a nice fish. Yeah. As soon as Andrew switched me over to the twin tail grub. That <laughs> one's bigger than mine. Measure him. <laughs> Probably 17, maybe 18. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Obligatory photo, and we're back. Yeah, so where's your... Uh, it's right here, I don't got the counter on me, but... Yeah. And the switcheroo. 18. 18. Multiple multiples today. Fish. And there she goes.
And after a dry spell for about almost an hour, finally hook into one. <sighs> Little guy. But if you look at the camera, or point the camera there, this is the type of water we're fishing. We're on the downstream side of a rock bar. And in a normal pool, there's actually water that flows over the rocks and causes currents. So right now we're positioned in, in basically in the chute area, but we're also in the eddy. And we basically have the best of both worlds. You can cast towards the rocks. And behind Jake, you have just the shoreline just loaded with wood. So that's what we're fishing right now. Good fish. Yeah, look, look at that black mark. Yep. We got those on Lake Michigan. I yeah. It's a nice two and a half. It's like the trady fish of the day. Nice. You want a photo? Alright. Alright. Alright, here's Andrew. We just uh, were thinking he may have hooked into the exact same 18 and a half inch smally right here. Yeah, it is. This fish needs to learn. <laughs> At least he knows the game this time and he came right to the boat for you. Same exact markings on his side. Same fish. Same fish. Uh, do, you wanna, do you want to measure him again? No. <laughs> we gotta leave this fish alone. Did you sight fish this one again? No, I just dropped it in front and crawled it back. So there you go. There we go. Fishing some current now. Jay hooks up into a nice one. He's coming to the boat. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, really there's some big ones. One. Yeah. That oh, one yeah. looks bigger than this one. Hell yeah. I got my line in there. Wow, he's uh, that's another 18, 19. Yeah. Year. Do something, flip your shit in there. I got the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all we're all we're using today on the river here is just jigs and twin tail grubs, and they're just smashing them really, like just matching the hatch of matching the profile of a crayfish, and pretty good. Yeah. What's a typical yeah. northern Wisconsin pattern there? Oh yeah, nice fish. Even a little dark. Nice fish. Yep. He's got his partner now too. There she goes. There's hey, there's two of them right there. Those suckers, suckers, big suckers. Another third one. Another yeah, this time last year we were on the sucker run. I was catching them on bucktails. You might see my other YouTube video if you did a search. So. Got a couple more here. And then we'll call it a day. Just like that. Cool. Another big one right there. Oh, oh, bit you off? A bass? They're both over there. Underneath that log piece of shit. As soon as I turn this video off, Andrew's gonna make a whole bunch of crazy whiny noises and almost try and kill himself. Goodbye.